I've had this on for over a month now, the Cartier Love Bracelet. And I would like to share with you my real thoughts and opinion, as well as my experience, and share some useful tips that you might want to consider if you haven't purchased yours and is planning to have one in the very near future. Uh, maybe because of hesitations, questions like, is the bracelet uh, right for you or not? To my returning subscribers, welcome back. To those who are new here, my name is MC. I'm into luxury, fashion, and lifestyle. So if you like this kind of stuff and have, you haven't subscribed to my channel yet consider subscribing don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you won't miss out all the videos i upload without further ado let's just go ahead and start let me just mention to you a bit about its history for those who are not very familiar with the cartier love bracelet it is one of the most uh, iconic pieces of jewelry ever crafted Designed by Aldo Cipullo or Cipullo in New York City, it is one of the fashion's most coveted items since its release in 1969. Then the bracelet became a mask for the rich and fashion forward denizens. At first, I had the bracelet on uh, my non dominant hand, which some people do to minimize dents or scratches from uh, easily banging it against objects such as furniture, doors, or even uh, bags. Uh, like me, my dominant is my right hand, and I use this all the time, but then I transferred it to my right hand because I realized I wear watch sometimes and, and I don't want the two rubbing against each other, which may create more scratches and it's going to be very hassle and inconvenient if I take the bracelet off on a regular basis since it can only be secured and unsecured with a specially designed miniature screwdriver included with each bracelet. It may also damage or loosen the screws up uh, which is not good for the mechanism. So let's take a closer look and see the condition since the purchase. It has no visible scratches actually around except one which is on the back side i knew where i got it from i was opening a heavy glass door and my palm suddenly slipped so it got caught it is what it is you know it's bound to happen sooner or later anyway and of course it did annoy me in the beginning but i've learned to accept it so if you are the type of uh, person that worry uh, too much about scratches then this bracelet is not for you there's also one thing that most people do not like about this bracelet the love bracelet was also designed to not be taken off on a daily basis it is meant to be worn all the time as in shower um, sleep and type with it on so it actually took me a little while to getting used to all these things uh, but if it wasn't because of this piece here, it's the Cate Love Bracelet inspired. I had it on for over a year, uh, maybe, before I decided to buy the real thing. Without this one, I think I wouldn't have bought the original bracelet. It made me realize that I could deal with scratches and long-term use. So this inspired Love Bracelet, it it's an 18 karat solid yellow gold in the same size uh, size 19 with an appearance but very very light compared to the Cartier uh, original it also comes with a gold or yellow plated gold uh, screwdriver I bought this from a jeweler to test if I can withstand or I can deal with all the cons as what uh, owners of the original bracelet say uh, for months I did not take it off until I was ready to buy the original anyway going back to this stunning piece I had 
the two pretty scary experiences with this bracelet. I was confined almost uh, consecutively to different hospitals, two different hospitals. Uh, the first one was to monitor what my illness really was. In the emergency room, I was told to remove it, but I forgot to bring the screwdriver. So the staff or a nurse just wrap it up with some masking tape. But the last hospital, while they were preparing me for an angiogram, a nurse noticed the bracelet because I was nervous. At the time, I simply forgot to take it off before I left the house. I was so tired and confused. Everything happened so fast, you know. The nurse then tried to unscrew using a clothed pin. Even I was half asleep. I remember saying, please be careful. <laughs> I really saw the screw moved a bit, but she gave up uh, eventually and just put a surgical glove on my hand and she just rolled and taped it. So after I had the angiogram and the catheter was still attached to my hand, my right hand, my cardiologist told me that I needed to undergo uh, angioplasty immediately. So I decided to do what was best. That would be in another story. <laughs> Those two incidents, I've learned that I should always carry the screwdriver with me at all times, especially when I travel in case of emergency or when I go to a hospital or a clinic. The scotch tape right here will protect the bracelet from further uh, scratching as well as this uh, wristband you can use this while you're wearing the bracelet when you go to the gym or just you know type for a long period of time So the remaining issue here, which is major, which makes it a con for this bracelet, is the price. It comes with a very hefty price tag, especially the ones with uh, diamonds or pave. And for me, it may seem overly excessive to drop the price of a second-hand car on a bracelet, but this uh, famous piece is worth the investment for many reasons. Number one, it is a symbol of uh, history, art, and sentimentality. The bracelet is suitable as a wedding gift to lock in that love forever as a birthday present or even as a reward to yourself for reaching goals and milestones. And one thing I really love about this bracelet is it's actually suitable for all for everyone man or woman uh, young or mature statement piece uh, enthusiast or modern minimalist so I highly highly recommend it and I don't regret buying it I hope that this video is useful to you especially to those who are just starting to build their Cartier collection for questions suggestions you can put them in the comment section down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you on my next one.